the hate is too much. Just because somebody is quiet, doesn't mean that they are guilty. I am just trying to handle the entire issue, as a grown up. I promised myself that, I won't respond to the allegations, until I realized that this was a mission, to eradicate my career, by making women hate me. Because, most of my followers are women. And yes, she is succeeding. She's playing victim, and it's unbelievable. A day before her posts, we had a proper meeting, and concluded everything, as grown-ups. The relationship wasn't working for me. There is something she did, that really turned me off, and ever since, the relationship has been on a sinking grounds, fights all the time, and I could feel the distance between us, even when we're together. The love was fading away. I believe she wrote all that, not because she's hurting, but because she was afraid of what social media will say, after realizing that, we are no longer together and that maybe, I have moved on with another queen. She cares so much about what social media thinks. Personally, I don't care. You can tell that because I don't turn off the comments section, no matter how people insult me. I loved V so much. I cared so much about her. But, she's trying to make me look heartless, and an opportunist, so that, other women can be cautious, anytime I'm trying to make a move towards them. At the dinner meeting, she asked me what I'm up to, and I told her about my upcoming international shows, and she happily congratulated me. Funny thing is, she mentioned it, why? So people would think she had something to do with it? So that when people get to see me traveling for the shows, they'll not think that I'm doing way better without her. Vera is the type of lady that you cannot leave them even if they did you bad, and if you do then your life should be miserable or even die. Surprisingly, I never asked her, to be on baby love video and I swear. I once wanted to feature her, on a different song, because we once discussed on her, appearing on one of my videos, and she refused. I respected that, and promised not to ask her again. But, after she heard baby love, she loved it and asked to feature on it, she said it's a nice response, to the hate out there. At some point, I even refused. But after we went to Kisamu, we discussed about it and I agreed. Don't steal my shine and glory. We've only dated for five months when I was already a star. I have been popping for two years straight. I have been here, getting money and making hits. You got to know me from my music and style. It doesn't make sense. So you mean, I stayed in a relationship with someone I don't have feelings for? for five months just to get a video with her? That's shady and don't make me look that small. You know, I'm one of the greatest musicians in the country. I hustle hard, and get paid. Just cause you got more followers than me, shouldn't make you want to steal my glory. This relationship was public, and we're both celebrities, so you expected my following not to add up. Yet we were the talk of East Africa? Your followers grew tremendously with 100,000 plus. But, you still say that, I'm the only beneficiary because Vera is known in Nigeria, USA, and East Africa? You know, you loved me, because I am the only person who loved you, as you and never cared that, you're famous or a diva. Anyway, I got nothing but love for V, she's a beautiful person with a beautiful heart. I wish her nothing, but the best in life. Whatever made me quit, I won't say, because some things are better left untold. It won't do me any good to bash her. But that's pretty much what's up. God bless, and life has to move on regardless. And please, don't try to hit me up, trying to fix things because you've already sabotaged everything. I'm shocked how you can bitch on me like that. You got me scared of you.